Good morning. It's really great to be here. My name is Hermann. I'm one of the co-founders of Aterioscope. We are a university spin-off from Austria, and we believe that the future of diagnostics will not be painful nor expensive, and this is why we are revolutionizing cardiovascular healthcare with our AI-powered tools. I am proud to present you today the team that makes that vision a reality. It's Vahid. He's our expert for cardiovascular health technologies and our CTO. Sasha, our data guy and an expert for physics-based machine learning. He's also a fellow at the prestigious Curd Institute in New York City. And our medical advisor, Dr. Gaza de Guia. She's a cardiologist. And me, Herman, I'm an accomplished entrepreneur with many years experience in building companies. Together, we are facing one of the biggest health challenges in our society, cardiovascular diseases, which leads to millions of deaths and billions in healthcare costs. How is that? The current diagnostics methods we have are very expensive and inefficient because they rely on high-end infrastructure such as CT or MRI and time-consuming blood tests. And also many patients, they don't have access to this infrastructure. But the good news is we have a solution for that. Aterioscope AI is a highly efficient software solution for the early detection and the risk assessment of cardiac dysfunction, such as heart failure. Our software is easy to integrate. That means it's working with standard hardware every doctor has. It's non-invasive and it's very fast. So we can do an examination in only seconds. It's accessible to all patients. Also, if there's no hospital infrastructure available, and it's highly accurate. But how is the product working? What is the magic behind? So the first step is that the doctor is taking an ECG of the patient with a standard 12-lead ECG, and we are using that data in combination with patient data, and that is sent into the arterioscope cloud, where it's processed and compared to our trained machine learning model, which was calibrated with clinical data of several thousand patients. And the doctor is getting back the results to his computer and can make a highly accurate risk assessment for cardiovascular dysfunction with a specificity and sensitivity of currently over 90%. We want we wanna to ac uh, uh, give access and have a low entry barrier for our solution. This is why we are offering a subscription service to general practitioners, to clinics, to the pharmaceutical industry. And on the middle term, we also uh, aim to license our technology directly to the OEM, so to the manufacturers of ECG devices. The journey of Aterioscope began in 2018 at the Technical University of Graz, and since then there was already invested substantial research funding. We have research collaborations internationally, such as Medical University of Graz, Medical University of Oslo. We have a patent pending in the US and Europe, and our technology is backed by 50-plus peer-reviewed papers, including journal, uh, papers in the prestigious European Heart Journal. Our prototype is ready to implement, and we have LOI signed with our first pilot customers. If we look into the future, we see a world where all patients in all regions have access to reliable and affordable diagnostic tools. And now we need you. We invite you to join our journey to transform cardiovascular health for the better. Thank you very much. All right. All right. Thanks a lot, Herman, for the pitch. So we can begin with the Q&A. Otto, do you want to start? Thanks, Herman. Really good pitch. Uh, I wanted to ask you a little bit more about your AI approach. Can you tell me more about which models are you using and what is proprietary to your company? Well, thank you. Very technical question. So, um, I mean, what we are doing is uh, we have we are using data uh, uh, for clinical data from hospitals or so from patients who have or had already uh, um, heart failure and we're also having the data if they had um, uh, the, the cardiac biomarker anti-propion B because what we are doing is the, the risk assessment for heart failure is based uh, on the determination of cardiac biomarkers such as nt propion B because nt propion B is a really good indicator for heart failure, right? So 
And this is basically the data we have used. So we have currently 3,300 data sets which we got from the collaboration with the Medical University of Graz and Medical University of Oslo. And based on that, we have trained the model. Thanks. Hey, uh, question about your team. There's a lot of heavy hitter doctors and PhDs. Are they working full time for your startup right now? Thank you. Um, Yes, so our cardiologist, uh, she is a medical advisor, so she is helping us um, when we need it currently, but we are also searching for a chief medical officer currently because we also need that expertise in the team. But the rest, yes, is, is working full time as much as is possible, yes, of course. And um, uh, uh, Sasha, he is, uh, he is he's doing some research work because he's also, like, as I said, a fellow in, at the Curate Institute. Yeah. But of course, um, also depending on the funding, uh, the next, if we get the proper funding, of course, we are all fully committed. Yeah. Thank you, Herman. Just a quick question. When it comes to your solution being cheaper than existing ones, can you walk me through that again, why that is the case? Absolutely. So we will never be better, which means more accurate than a hospital infrastructure such as CT, MRI, blood test. That's impossible because that's the gold standard, right? But the problem is this is a very expensive way to diagnose such diseases because these, these devices, they cost millions. And also blood tests, this is something you need to go to the hospital, you need to draw blood, it needs to be processed in the lab, the lab has a huge workload, so you have to pay the hospital bed, you have to pay the lab. Um, it, it's the infrastructure is such a, a huge um, uh, uh, operating costs. And our technology is a software. So the innovation is really the, the software and the technology which is processing the data from ECG. And ECG is nothing new, but the innovation is how we are processing the data. And this is it's cheap because an ECG is something which is, which is easily accessible. And it's a cloud-based solution. So we can... It, so, so this is why it's, it's so much cheaper. Yeah. All right, we have 45 seconds, so a quick question. All right, I'll be fast. <laughs> Thank you so much for, it, uh, for your pitch, Herman. Um, if we think about distribution, who is the champion? Can you hear me properly? OK. Yeah. Who is the champion within clinics you sell to? And how do you think about harmonizing the clinic managers and the doctors? Who is championing that your solution is going to be introduced within the hospitals? So. I mean, what we are doing is we have a, quite a disruptive technology. So we are determining cardiac biomarkers with AI, which is quite new. So very important is to build trust in the community, right? And this is what we are doing currently. We are building uh, networks to key opinion leaders. Uh, three days ago, I was coming back to Boston because I was also, I'm also building a network there to cardiologists and key opinion leader. So this is really important for us. So currently, we are building, uh, we are building research, co research collaborations with certain cardiologists internationally. Uh, and we also need to build the trust like from the bottom, so to say. So we are working together with general practitioners, but also in primary and secondary care. All right, uh, and, Herman, and but we need to start wrapping up. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry for that. Thank um, you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the great questions. Let, let's give a big round. Thank you. Thank you, Herman. Thank you. Ciao.